Now let's talk about the family that gave China the upper hand, the Rajapaksas. Until a few months ago, no one dared to question their authority. The Rajapaksas enjoyed a brute majority in the Sri Lankan parliament. They held all levers of power in the country. Today, they are political kryptonite. One month ago, Mahinda Rajapaksa was forced to step down as prime minister. Yesterday, another Rajapaksa quit. Former finance minister, Basil Rajapaksa, he's resigned from the parliament. The Rajapaksa dynasty seems to be crumbling. But behind the scenes, they're still trying to dictate the political agenda. Our next report tells you how. One month ago, he was compelled to leave the Prime Minister's office. A chopper was sent in to evacuate him and his family. As a group of angry protests stood outside his home, demanding answers. This was a dramatic turnaround for Mahindra Rajapaksa. The strong man of Sri Lanka was humbled. But yesterday, he was back in Parliament, and he had some serious charges to make. Mahindra Rajapaksa claimed the protesters have blood on their hands. A revolution that kills an innocent man is no longer innocent and peaceful. There's blood on the hands of those protesters whose hearts are filled with hatred. The death of this innocent man is a threat to democracy, and it instills fear. He was talking about a lawmaker, Amarakirthi Athukorala, died during the violent protest last month, just before Rajapaksa resigned. The former Prime Minister's comment has caused outrage. He is being slammed by his critics. They claim the statement was an attempt to discredit the protests. The Rajapaksa clan may be weak, but it is still trying to wield its power. The third Rajapaksa is believed to be working behind the scenes. Former Finance Minister Basil Rajapaksa maintains influence over the ruling party. A recent report claims he is in a position to shape the political agenda. According to one expert, the Parliament of Sri Lanka will only approve what Basil wants. He played an important role in staging the political comeback of the Rajapaksa family. Basil was a long-time advisor to his brother Mahinda when he was the president. He made the ruling SLPP a political force. Basil Rajapaksa is a dual citizen of Sri Lanka and the United States. Earlier, Sri Lanka did not allow dual citizens to enter parliament. But soon after their election victory in 2019, the Rajapaksas pushed a constitutional amendment. Dual citizens were allowed to hold office that change allowed Basil Rajapaksa to become finance minister. But his tenure lasted just one year. Just like his brother Mahinda, Basil had to leave office. The anti-government protesters blame him for the economic crisis. This week, he stepped down from his seat in the parliament too. But the former finance minister is not leaving politics. There is speculation that he wants to pay more attention to the party he helped build. State governance and politics are two different things. My main aim is to completely move away from state governance. I will not participate in state governance in any form from today. But I will not step away from politics. That message was for the opposition of Sri Lanka. The Rajapaksas may be down, but they are certainly not out. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.